Midday naps are one of the best free and natural ways to boost testosterone and human growth hormone levels in your body, but by how much exactly? We're here to let you know. How do naps increase testosterone? The relationship between sleep and testosterone is well documented in scientific literature. Studies have shown that sleep loss and lower sleep duration are associated with lower testosterone levels. In fact, sleep is so crucial for testosterone production that the majority of daily testosterone release in men occurs during sleep. Sleep fragmentation and obstructive sleep apnea have also been associated with reduced testosterone levels. While the exact percentages of testosterone increase due to napping are not readily available in scientific literature, it's reasonable to assume that a well-timed nap can act as a reset for your hormonal balance. The first 3-4 hours of sleep are particularly critical for testosterone production, and even a short nap can contribute to this. Napping can be especially beneficial if you've had a stressful day or a strenuous workout, both of which can negatively impact your testosterone levels. A nap can help mitigate these effects by providing your body with an opportunity to enter the REM sleep stage where hormone production is optimized. How do naps increase human growth hormone? Human growth hormone, HGH, plays a vital role in cell regeneration, growth, and maintaining healthy human tissue. It's produced in the pituitary gland and is released in pulses. These pulses are most significant shortly after the onset of deep sleep, specifically during the slow-wave sleep stage. A well-timed nap that includes a full sleep cycle can potentially trigger one of these HGH pulses. The slow-wave sleep stage is where the deepest sleep occurs, and it's during this stage that the body repairs and regenerates tissue, builds bone and muscle, and synthesizes proteins. All of these processes are facilitated by HGH. It's worth noting that the quality of sleep during the nap is crucial for HGH production. Factors like the sleep environment, duration of the nap, and the individual's sleep cycle all play a role in how much HGH is produced. Therefore, optimizing your nap to include a full sleep cycle, which usually lasts around 90 minutes, can contribute to increased levels of this important hormone. In essence, a nap isn't just a period of rest, it's an opportunity for your body to kickstart essential physiological processes, including the production of HGH. By understanding the science behind sleep and hormone production, you can use naps as a strategic tool for boosting not just your energy levels, but also your HGH and testosterone levels.